Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. Guys, I'm having my cup of joe this morning. Um, we do have the new decks in. I got the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, and I got the Lightworker Oracle. Um, I'm going to do two little shorts for y'all this morning. And I decided on the Wisdom of the Oracle, I was just going to pull three for what happens in your physical world and what you don't see coming or what's happening on the unseen. So first of all, oh, sorry about that. We do have the ring light guys, but we've still got to figure out how to be able to hook it up to the electrical outlet here. And, um, um, but we do have it. I'm so excited guys. I've got two. Um, first of all, let me tell y'all real quick. I've got two new decks. I've got the wisdom of the Oracle deck and I got the light worker Oracle. Now the light worker Oracle, I am probably going to do, um, Maybe just pull a card here and there for y'all once in a while. But I think I'm going to do special readings for those who feel they have light worker energy. And um, I might just pull one a day of those and do something for y'all. I'm not sure how it's going to work yet. But I'm thinking that when I start doing uh, private readings, I may just pull the light worker oracle just for people that feel they have light worker energy, like maybe specialize or something. Um, it does take a while to get into the energies of the decks when you get them. Um, they just came in the other day, but guys, like I told y'all, I I mean, I've been working every day. Today's the last day I work before I've got like three days off, and I will get some more readings up for y'all. I know I didn't get to the to the earth, air, fire, and water readings this week. Um, I don't know if those are going to stay the, just the way they are, or I'm instead of doing full readings, I may just pull a few cards. It's just going to depend on how my time runs. So let me tell y'all what we got here. First of all, we have female energy coming in with the yin card. Guys, this deck is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and there is a goddess on every in every single card. Um, on this one here, her face is right here. Anyway, this is being receptive. Yin is talking about feminine energy coming in, receptivity. So, um, and it's just talking about a strong female presence for the day. Okay. Then we have the never-ending story. The never-ending story, and guys, this is what you don't see coming, okay? Or, or what's, um, or what is happening, I'm sorry, that you do see coming. What we have here is under what you don't see coming. And then we have never-ending story. And this card is talking to me about, you see how she looks frustrated? Maybe there's some kind of ongoing argument or some kind of ongoing um, disagreement you have with somebody, with, an, with a feminine, someone who's in touch with their feminine side, okay? And... You're trying to figure out how to deal with it, okay? And it seems it's one of those things that it feels like it never ends. But at this point, you decide you no longer want to deal with it, okay? Because three plus seven is a nine card. Or no, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten is completion, but also a new beginning at the same time. Because then we have the mending card, which is 52. So maybe there's even something uh, um, um, that you have in the back of your mind that is um, something that that has to do with this feminine energy coming in. That's Maybe it's some kind of clarity you need for yourself or it's somebody that moves away who's always, you decide to leave behind because there's always fighting, always, you know, and you decide now you're going to heal this, okay? So this could be somebody at work. This could be um, somebody in the home, Um uh, somebody you see every day in a certain place that you decide that you're not going to let them affect you no more. And you start, so you decide you're going to heal this. So you start working on healing this. Okay. Because you're just tired of it because it seems like it never ends. Every time you see this person, um, y'all argue, you fight, maybe it's a mother daughter relationship, two sisters, um, or maybe it's a guy and his girlfriend or um, two guys, two girls, the sex doesn't matter. It's just a feminine energy that, makes you uncomfortable or like I said it could be something somebody has said that's feminine energy that you're just tired of dealing with it so you decide to let it go because you feel like it's just always there and you let it go and you start to heal from it so that's on a conscious level guys okay now what you don't see coming we have the milk and honey card guys this card's talking to me about all your prosperity coming in I mean we always talk about Mrs. about um America being the land of milk and honey right so some kind of prosperity is coming in for you, and we've got the we've got the goddess or, or spirit looking out over you, that is saying it's time for your ship to come in. So maybe some kind of money comes in, um, you get a better job opportunity, you get a better whatever. Um, and I still always feel like these little little dots that you see here, 
I always feel like this is talking about going through a portal of some type. I always see those as portal or your spirit guides talking to you, telling you, directing you in a different way. Okay. Um, I always see these as spirit orientated, these little portals. Okay. And, um, and again, this is a Colette Baron Reed deck. So, and her energies of her cards always seem to go together to me. Okay. So some kind of prosperity coming in. And then we have the no place like home card. Guys, this is talking about being comfortable in your own skin. So maybe whatever you've been doing that's bringing in some extra money or some kind of prosperity. It doesn't have to be money. It can be some kind of prosperity or abundance in some sort of way. Like maybe actually something is leaving that is bringing in something better. Okay. And in some sort of way, you're now more comfortable in your own skin. Maybe you've got clarity on um, what's going to make you happy. Okay. What's going to, because anytime you're happy, guys, and you're doing something that is positive, it's going to make you feel better, right? So I feel like this is talking about no place like home, being comfortable in your own skin. I um, mean, see how it's shedding the light? So in some sort of way, something comes in for you that at least in your head, you're happy about, okay? Now, on the outside, we have, and guys, I love this card. We have this serendipity card. A lot of people call this a clover, but it's actually, it's it's an it's a specific kind of, of clover. It's an oxalis. I used to raise these, or a shamrock. I used to raise these in Mississippi, guys. This one's green with um, um, red in the middle of it. And to me, this kind of like speaks like of a heart, okay? So something heart-based is coming in for you. Something that is, you're seeing signs and synchronicities, Okay, and guys, this I feel like is talking also about a heightened awareness of how spirit is working with you. Okay, so in some sort of way, in the um, in the upper upper higher conscious higher self of yourself, you are seeing these changes come in. You're seeing more prosperity. You're being comfortable with where you're at, and th again, you're seeing signs and synchronicities. And guys, this is a nine card. So this is almost at, at, at where you're just about to the point where you want to be. Okay. Because it is a nine card and 10 comes down to one. So it's a new beginning, a new, an ending and a new beginning. So guys, something new is coming in for you. Um, and this, and this is what is unseen by you. This is seen by you. So maybe letting go of this negative, whatever it is, or this clarity of mind is what now brings in this peace and harmony. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. All right. So that's what I have for you this morning. It's just a little short read with the new cards. Guys, I hope y'all like this deck. I know I do. And you notice I didn't pull any runes. I was just trying to make this a short. And um, that's an energy for today, guys. Lighthouse.